Hi, I'm Jenny from Biz Gifts and Gravy, and I'm bringing you the news. Today I'll be sharing an article from TheGuardian.com. Russia and the United States will cooperate to build the moon's first space station. By Ajans Franz Press, posted September 27, 2017. Russia and the United States have agreed to cooperate on a NASA-led program to build the first lunar space station, part of a long-term project to send humans to Mars. The U.S. Space Agency said earlier this year it's exploring a program called the Deep Space Gateway, a multi-stage project to push further into the solar system. The project envisions building a crew tenant spaceport in lunar orbit that would serve as a gateway to deep space and the lunar surface, NASA has said. NASA has been far from coy and it's ambitious to send humans to orbit Mars by the 2030s and subsequent plans to colonize the red planet. But plans to return to the moon have waxed and waned with the U.S. administration. While George W. Bush was keen to see humans on the moons again by 2020, Barack Obama ditched the plan and focused on plans to visit Mars, including a mission to test the necessary technology by capturing a boulder from the surface of an asteroid and bringing it into lunar orbit. Now it seems it's all to change again. With the Trump administration, asteroid missions have fallen from favor. With the spaceport orbiting the moon, crewed visits to the lunar surface are once again on the menu. Last Wednesday, the Russian space agency Roscosmos announced that a cooperation agreement had been signed at an astronautical congress in Adelaide, Australia. The partners intended to develop international technical standards, which will be used later in particular to create a space station in lunar orbit the Russian agency said in a statement. The Russians and Americans will cooperate to build the systems needed to organize scientific missions in lunar orbit and to the surface of the moon, the agency added. Rose Cosmos and NASA have already agreed on standards for a docking unit on the future station, taking into account the country's extensive experience in developing docking units the station's future elements will be created using Russian designs. Igor Komarov, Roscosmos' general director, said no fewer than five countries were building their own rockets and systems. To avoid future problems over technical cooperation, part of the standard should be unified for the possibility of various countries to work on their craft and to dock into the International Lunar Station, Komarov was quoted as saying in a statement. Russia and the United States also discussed using Moscow's Proton-M and Angora rockets to help create the infrastructure of the lunar spaceport. The statement said, and that the main works were scheduled to begin in the mid-2020s. Space exploration, including joint work on the International Space Station, is one of the areas of international cooperation between Russia and the United States. This $100 billion ISS, which has been orbiting the Earth at about 17,000 miles per hour since 1998, is the world's largest space project. This article is from TheGuardian.com. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.